Hey folks, we got something a little different, a little different for you tonight. There go the dogs. Right on cue. <laughs> so my brother-in-law here is the unfortunate owner of a Kia Ronda. <laughs> if we can uh, get a view of this thing, it's awesome. Indeed. Today we're replacing what the hell is this thing called again? It is the purge valve. The purge valve. The EVAP purge solenoid. It's sometimes called. Um, yeah, so if you're here for the jeeps and the rock crawling and the, the crazy trail stuff, you can skip this video. If you're here because you were trying to figure out how to change the purge valve on a Kia Rondo, you're in the right place. Even though the channel doesn't look that way. So anyway, stay tuned and we'll show you how the heck this thing's going to work. So this is the engine compartment of a Kia Rondo with the V6. Was it 2.7? Yep, 2.7. 2.7. Uh, we took the air box off because you see this thing way down here? Here. Now without the light here. You hold the light. This thing down here. Yeah, let's move the light down this way a little bit. Like that. This thing way down here is the purge valve. Now, that's the purge valve. The new one. So, um, yeah. We need to reach down there. It's behind the throttle body. Behind the air intake. That's the, This is the... So the air intake would connect right here. Up a little bit. The air intake would have connected right here. This is the throttle body. Behind the throttle body is this purge valve. Uh, looks like we got to disconnect this plug, disconnect this hose, which I think is this nipple here. Mm -hmm. This hose will then replace the hose that's above that, which I can only feel and can't see. Apparently goes up to the throttle body. Now, apparently this thing has to do with emissions. Um, the EVAP system is usually collecting evaporated fuel and doing something funny with it. In this case, I guess it pushes it into the throttle body. I guess so the fumes get burned up in the same way that the fuel does. Which I guess makes sense. Right? Sure it does. That sounds good. So anyway, I'm going to try to get this thing disconnected and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, wish me luck. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, I think what we're going to have to do is pinch this with some pliers and get that off of there. Probably better pliers for this job. With any luck, this is not like full of fuel. Nope, shouldn't be. It should be full of fumes. And this plug should have a little. Sorry, but I blind you. have some kind of safety on them. So they can't be accidentally disconnected or wiggle their way free. Mm -hmm. Can't tell if it does or not. What's the one on the new one look like? Take it out of the bag. I think, yeah. I think it's safe to take it out of the bag now. This way, when we put it in. We have to put there. Yeah. The thing on the top must be put. I can't see it. I can't get my finger on it. I can't. So much easier if I can see it. This is things we throw in a code, right? You remember the code? It'll be good for the video, right? Good content, filler while we're frustratingly... Ugh. I guess we can pull the code. Yeah, we're gonna have to have to... I just remember it was the same code that was checking the gas cap. Yeah, it's, uh, 
If you ever had to deal with the gas cap code, it's the gas cap code. <laughs> Oh, it smells like a rubber mallet. Just smash the car to pieces. It's a good idea. <laughs> Put a tripod here anyway. <laughs> okay, it clips. Oh, okay. Upper clip for the rubber hose. So this one here. Yeah. Well, what's this for? What? That seems to be clipped onto like a loop here. That holds the thing from moving around. I think. And that is actually the problem, right? So you've got this on like a little loop. So there's a thing through here, like a flat piece of metal that goes through here. And then this goes up to the throttle body. So this and this keep it stationary. What I have to do is pull it down to come off of the the hose that it's connected to on the throttle body. But this thing comes up through it, so I can't go down with it. I have to go up with it, but I can't go up with it because that's not. So it's fun. Lots of fun. Folks, don't buy a Kia. They're evil. That goes to this, right? Alright folks, so this looks simple, but this was hard to figure out. So this thing was in here like this, and I couldn't see because it was connected there, right? This button right here, see where my thumb is, that's what releases this. See that? So once it's released, it'll come off of this little nub here. Okay, so now all we have to do is get that disconnected and that disconnected, and then it'll come out. <laughs> and these hoses, when they're on there for so long, they get kind of stuck in place, and they don't want to come off. So you just, if you can get it to the point where you can twist a little bit, that'll break it free. That'll be just enough to break it. This isn't working. Dang! Is there something else you think it's holding it in? No, it's just stuck. Maybe we could cut, maybe we could cut the rubber hose. Pull it off in two pieces. Part of the problem here is you can't work and see at the same time. Is there anything we can do to make it better for you? Yeah, we could take this to a car lot. <laughs> trade it in for something that actually... Makes sense? <laughs> a match? We should push it out of the garage and bring it in the fire. <laughs>
on you, bugger. There. Make sure it's the right part. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? Yeah, right. No, it's definitely the right part. Does this move? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just can't find it. That's the right one. Good. If it wasn't, I'm just going to put it back together with the wrong one. Yep, just the finger. You ever wonder why there's no video of someone doing this on a Kia Rondo? No, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Your purge mode will hurt the car. Yeah. <laughs> Just get rid of it now, <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh, you son of a boot nanny with a popsicle. Is she just stuck inside there? Oh, There's not a clip on top that's holding it at all, is there? No, I have it off already. Right. That's this one here. Just from time of wear and tear, it's just in there. Yeah. Yeah, so basically this, the thing that comes off the throttle body is like this long. So it's like way deep in here. Okay. And then this was pushed up on top to hold it in place, right? So over the years of that being on there, the pla the rubber just sort of like seizes to the, the tube that comes into it. And what you end up with is a hose that won't come off. The way to fix that is to get a hold of it and twist it to get it to come loose, which is not usually that hard to do, unless you're on a key. Apparently. Or you can't see it at all when you just... Yeah, the fact that you can't see it really doesn't help. <laughs> it just doesn't bother. No wonder I couldn't pull it off of there. Our old picks. Give the guys down here with the pick. What I'm going to try to do is get the pick up the tube that I've cut and around, so like in between the tube and the thing that's stuck. I should break it free, right? Haven't had it yet. Hey, a job, huh? That's what the YouTuber said, right? Yeah. Hey guys, this is a 10 minute job. I'm going to edit this later. Make it look like a 10 minute job, right? <laughs> oh, you bugger! Did it move at all? I can't. I think we're just beating up the thing over hopes. Oh my gosh! There's no clamp on there anymore, and yet it's that hard to get off. Oh, you bugger. Broke off? Ripped the dang hose. Oh, it's coming out in pieces. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! How's that, huh? Jeez. Well, how did you finally get it out? I, had, I got behind it and whoop. Luckily, I'm good with a knife. Otherwise, <laughs> I would have pushed your car out of my garage. I said, call the mechanic! <laughs> now, getting this back on. See if we can. Here, let me see the light. There you go. 
to this piece of metal or plastic or whatever right here. I don't know if you can see from where you are. All see right, what I'm shining the light on? Gotcha. That's what that opening in the rubber slides onto. Huh. So you can't pull it down to get it off. I don't think it would have come off anyway. No. <laughs> So putting it back in, do we put it on that and then get this in place? Or do we try to get this in place and then yokes it around? Or do we disconnect this end? I'm afraid if you disconnect that end, you might not get it back on. Yeah. Let's see what kind of space we have to I do not think that if we put the hose on first, we'll be able to slide it back onto the floor. But I'm hoping that a rubber hose will have enough play in it that we can get it back onto the thing. No, well, maybe. Let's see. It's actually going back on. Holy crap. <laughs> now I gotta put the clip back on, and then we gotta get the lower hose back on and plug it back in, and we're done. Can you believe that? So the, believe it or else! The majority of the excitement was getting the old one out. God, what a pain. So, do you get what I mean, though? Oh, I hear you. I don't know, what, the, what does the inside of the hose look like? Yeah, it just, like, the hose, I guess they're heating and cooling. I guess so, You yeah. see it a lot on radiator hoses? Mm -hmm. They'll just get stuck on there and won't come off. You have to either yank it on the radiator hose, and the way to fix that is you take a small screwdriver, and you get behind, you get between the hose and the metal fitting that it's on, and you just sort of push it in there, Go around and push it in there, go around and push it in there, and then it breaks it free. And then you can twist the hose around and it breaks free the rest and you pull it off. But in this case, it's so dang small and so hard to get to, that really wasn't an option. Now, let's see if I can get a hold of this clip, put it back on. I've done like three of them now at this point. So I'm not, right? I'm going to drop my pliers and go on for a heel world. It's just amazing. It's just like a piece of plastic. Yep. It's so important. I don't know if it's that important. It's important enough to make the car not run. Right. Yeah, it's important enough that when you fill it up with fuel, it doesn't want to go. Yeah, so you want to describe what the symptom was, or did we already do that? I'm, I'm not sure if you exactly described it, but pretty much what happens is that every time that you go to fill your vehicle up with fuel, that... Uh, you go to turn the turn the engine over, and there is absolutely no start at all. You will hear the starter firing, but it will not turn over. And so once you do finally get to turn over, the RPMs just deplete and significantly drop, where then it will kill your, your motor. The way you described it to me, it sounds like it wasn't getting enough fuel because this thing was bad. Yes. Because they say they would, they would emit the fumes into the into the engine. Should position this clip before we put it in here. Are you working your way up? Well, it's it was in a bad place. Okay. So I couldn't get the pliers on it. Now I got it in the right place. If I'd done that when it was out here, I would have saved us a few minutes. Okay, clips in place. Ah. Let's plug this thing back in.
So basically all you have to do is see how there's a little lip on there? Mm -hmm. you get you get the clip past there so it's on here okay. and then it it uh, holds on here. Well, I think I can. I probably can't get that off. Yeah, it's just the stuff. But anyway, the hose goes over it and then you put the clip up until it's up to the beyond that ridge and then let the clip go and then pulls it off. Okay, that's that. Air intake. Right? It's yep. all connected. Put the air intake back on. Now we got this thing to deal with on the air intake. So this is, you can see this on the video, this here is like a hose clamp, a big hose clamp. Here, let me turn the video a little bit so you guys can see better. This. Too many adjustments on my thing here. Well, there's one here that when we loosened it, it just sort of fell off. See how this goes together. So basically, that goes in there, and then this. Oh, my stuff. Oh. All right, so this goes in here, I think, and then that goes there. Are we missing like a washer or something? This doesn't seem right at all. No, it's working. I think there's supposed to be a little washer on there. But yeah, see so this nice little stopper. I think someone else has been in here and lost that on you. So I don't think we get that. Oh, we'll do our best. Worst comes to worst, I've got. Uh, do I have those clamps this side? Yeah, laying over there. I can use an older horse clamp if I have to. Suffering I put in the watch This is the dumbest place ever for one of these clips. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, I think your car's back together. Indeed. Should we see if we can get that code quick? See if the check engine light's still on? Yeah. Should be, I think, until we yeah, clear it. Yeah, clear it. P0411, evaporative emissions system incorrect purge flow. It does say purge flow. See, it totally says purge flow right there. We're going to clear it. Nope, clear it. Yes, I know. Go over there and open the garage door up. So you can go this way if you want. Oops, sorry. Cross my right. leg. I apologize. Which one's your garage door opener? The one looks like a doorbell. Oh, it's there? Yep. Yeah, it'll sound better. There you have it, folks. We totally didn't burn the key into the ground. And we think it's working right. So I guess we'll find out in a few days. So while he's pulling out and I'm cleaning up the garage, I'm just going to tell you guys, that whole job took us about an hour from start to finish. Such a simple task. I mean, it should have been simple. 
Um, but yeah, everything was just stuck in there and it was hard to get to and whatever. A um, uh, licensed mechanic will probably have it done in half an hour. I don't know. But yeah, it was not easy. So, um, well, it was easy. It just was time consuming. So keep that in mind. If you're going to do this yourself, it's a pain in the butt to reach. Everything gets stuck. All the clips are hard to get off. It's hard to get to. Yeah. So anyway, if you like my channel, subscribe. Hit that bell. If you want to support what I'm doing here, hit me up on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash swbcrawler. Thanks for watching.